Hey guys, I'm Greg. And I'm Katie. And we're bringing you guys another round of the weekly announcements. Today we've got another student spotlight for you guys, reaching one of our students, Rebecca Zire. That's right, Rebecca's been attending Primavera for three years now. She's involved in student government and she's graduating next month. She has a great story, so let's go watch the spotlight. student at Primavera for three years. When I started at Primavera, my writing was like okay. It wasn't like anything so amazing, but um, I've been writing so often here and the teachers have given me so much feedback and so much help with it that my writing has gotten so much better. They have been helping me and with all of my writing projects especially, they've been giving me detailed feedback and they're always willing, like if I call them, they'll spend hours just talking to me helping me improve my work. And the science teachers have been great with the labs and the math teachers. They're just like all amazing. Because my time was so flexible with Primavera, I really like discovered about myself when I work best and how I work best. So I discovered I'm a morning person, which is a good thing to know. So I know that going on to college, I'll definitely know how to shape my schedule and know um, when are good times for me to be working and how I need to work in order to get my work done. I have an older sister and she's 19. So throughout school, we were always in like a traditional school setting. So we were two grades apart. So um, like, so we would never really see each other and we get home at like five o'clock and we were so tired that there was really like never anything between us. But she actually did Primavera with me for a year. So that was just like such an amazing year because we were always together and we always, like we had that common connection between the two of us. So we would like take our laptops and we'd go to the library and we would just spend the whole day together because it was just the two of us, all of our friends were in school. So it gave us the time together. We decided to um, attend Primavera because we wanted time to do our religious studies, but we didn't want to give up an accredited diploma. So we would go in the morning. There was one um, religious girl school that wasn't accredited at the time and we would do our studies. And then we would come home and we'd spend the whole afternoon together and we would do our work together. My parents are so proud of me. <laughs> they, um, they've been so supportive throughout the entire thing and they're so happy that I'm going to college and they're so supportive and I think that they might even be more excited than I am. That they're just, because they're just so excited for me to take this next step. Before I took my AIMS, I took two um, prep courses here at Primavera. I took writing and I took math and they really helped me. The math went through every math concept that I'd ever learned in high school and I ended up um, exceeding on two of them. I didn't exceed on the writing and then I studied again for another year and I took during the next chance I retook my writing and I exceeded the second time. It was so exciting. I logged on to my premier classes and I saw that I exceeded and I started screaming and then my entire family came and we had ice cream cake. So I am the junior class president of student government. Very, very exciting. There was a whole elections and it was just like a real school. How they set it up, how there was speeches and then elections. Um, so I've, I've been so happy to be part of that this year. We had a meeting every, every week, every Wednesday at 12. We would come in to, um, to a virtual Adobe room and like we could talk and we could type to each other. So it was like a real interaction. So I feel that that gave me more of a social um, aspect to Primavera. So now I have like my student government friends, like we've learned to get to know each other. So <laughs> through a virtual setting, it's possible. My greatest achievement from Primavera is that I got the AIMS scholarship. So I have a full tuition waiver to ASU and I'm planning on majoring in special education so that I can get two certifications in special ed and elementary ed. I wanted to be a teacher for my entire life. Like there's really no deciding. I don't know why I want to be a teacher. It's just something that I've always wanted to do. It's like my passion. So that's what I'm planning on doing. All right, guys, that wraps up another round of our weekly announcements. Thanks again to Rebecca for being our May Student Spotlight. We'll catch you guys next week.